Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I've got four tips for you to help you build excellent forms. The four tips are question recommendations, sections, file upload and notifications. First of all, let's look at question recommendations. So when I create a new form and I give it a title, this one's going to be called Event Feedback. Microsoft Forms reads the title and makes some suggestions on questions you might want to add. By pressing the Add New button, these recommendations are listed here and you can choose one or all of them and they'll automatically be added to the form. You can see also it's showing you what type of question is. So this is a pick box, for example, and this is a rating. And you can see it's picked up based on the title the fact that we want to get event feedback. So the first one here is how satisfied were you with the event? How friendly were the staff and so on? So I can choose these by just clicking on them and I can choose all of them or one of them. And then I choose add selected here and it just chucks them all into the form for me. That's a big time saver there. Another time saver on the option questions. So like this one here, number one, how satisfied were you? It's given you a bunch of options there. And when you click in, you can choose to add other options too. So another quick time saver because the form does the thinking for you. The next thing I wanted to show you to help make your forms clear and tidy is the section. You can get to add a section if you scroll to the bottom of your form, go to add a question, on the add new button, go to the right hand side of the ribbon and choose the more drop down, and you'll see one here called section. Now when I add a section, it asks me to name the section. So I'm gonna call my section, upload your images from the day. Now if I just go to the preview, you'll see what this is gonna look like to the responder of the form. So I'll scroll down to the bottom. These are all my first lot of questions, but now I've got this next button. And then when I press next, it takes me to the next page. So it's like paging through the form. That's what the section does for you. The other thing I wanted to show you was this new file upload button. If I do add new and choose the more drop down again, you'll see there's a file upload option now. When I choose file upload, it just tells me that a new folder will be created in your OneDrive for business. What's going to happen here is that when people upload files to my form, those files will be saved in a folder in my OneDrive for Business. Now the folder, if I just switch to OneDrive here, is in the Apps folder in your OneDrive, and there's a folder called Microsoft Forms, and within that, there'll be a folder for each form that has the File Upload button in it. And we'll see how that works in a minute. So if I go back to the form, I say OK to that, that's fine. Now I'm gonna ask my question. So the question's gonna be, upload your images here. Now you'll see I can set a file limit. So if I want to say I need to allow five images and they can only be 100 meg in size, I can set the size as well. And if we go to preview, you can see what that looks like. If I scroll down, hit next. Now we've got this upload images button and it also tells the responder what the limits are. And so the responder will hit the upload file button, choose a image, and click open, it will upload that image, and then they can upload more if they want to by using the upload file button. And when they're done, they hit submit. And then now if we switch back to OneDrive, we'll see that the file that we just uploaded is in the event feedback question folder. The last thing I wanted to show you is notifications because my customers ask me about this quite a bit and it's tucked away in the settings of the form. If you come to the ellipsis on the form and choose settings, scroll down to the notification section, you'll see you've got two checkboxes that are unchecked by default. It's send email receipt to responders and get email notification for each response. This allows the responder to choose whether they get a receipt or not. And this automatically sends an email to the person who created the form. So the emails look like this. This is the one that the person who owns the form will receive. If it says, this person added a response to your form 
and you can hit view the results and it will take you directly to the form itself so you can see who responded to it and what responses there have been and then the person who actually fills out the form they get this email and then you can view the response as well when the responder fills out the form they're going to see this checkbox here so they don't have to receive the email if they don't want to but you can hit this button before you submit and that will send you an email receipt of the response so there's your four tips for building excellent forms in Office 365. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.